balls actually do feel different. Okay, but when like when <laughs> when you take <laughs> basketball, so, uh, all the balls, right. basketballs. <laughs> Baltimore ends up getting the win after a punt goes right down the middle of the field. Now, Baltimore is not easy to punt in. I'm not saying anything. Ethan Evans, the punter, I am a massive fan of. He was squatting 600 pounds just a couple weeks Jeez. ago on the internet. But old Wallace had an opportunity to make it a return, and he did as such. People are saying there's a block in the back. There was like one at the point there that they didn't call. Great Electrifying return. way to win. I couldn't even imagine what Baltimore was like yesterday. Is this Baltimore team built to go on a real Lombardi run right now? Yeah. Biggest question about Lamar for a lot of people watching the game would be, can he throw the ball? Can he throw the ball from the pocket? Does he have the weapons to throw it to to drive it down the field? And I think he's answered that question this season. Kadarius Tony clearly offsides. This becomes the cleanest play yeah. I've ever seen made by a skill position player. Travis Kelsey, quick Real. release. Yeah. Dan Marino, so. perfect spiral. Having the gut sack to do that, obviously huge. Having the ability to throw a ball 20 yards while running full speed, about to get tackled with a quick release to a guy, brilliant. Having the forethought to be able to do brilliant. All those things, except for Kadarius Tony being offside. Gene Stanton. Territor gave an incredible answer. Refs don't want to call offensive offsides unless it is egregious. And this was a blatant offsides. His head and Von Miller's head are almost <laughs> touching each other. There's Tony messed up here. Here's what Patrick Mahomes had to say about it after. It's I mean, obviously tough to swallow, not only for, for me, but just for football in general. To take away greatness like that, for a guy like okay. Travis to make a play like that. And who knows if we win? I know as fans, you want to see the guys on the field decide the game. And that's why last week I didn't say anything about the flag. They didn't get called on the Marquez. I mean, they're human, man. They make mistakes. It's every week we're talking about something. Another great football game that just ended like that. It's just tough. We never see Patrick Mahomes do this. This is very out of character for Patrick Mahomes. Our immediate thought is, oh, the NFL is going to find the hell out of Patrick Mahomes. I would imagine that Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid both potentially could get fined. What's that look like? It depends how much of a message the league would want to send. Here's what Patrick told Josh Allen. We lost because of the luck. fucking coin toss, Bob. <laughs> All right, dude. There was a hit piece wrote on our coach this week. Yeah. All right. That's what if they you're so pissed, you're just going to tell it to every and anybody you see in that next 30 seconds. I think it tells us that Josh and Pat very tight. Patrick felt he could potentially almost confide like yeah. a therapist almost. You understand what yeah. I'm saying. Right. It's hard to win. It's, it's hard to win. <laughs> so many people attacking me for saying that Bill Belichick, greatest coach of all time and greatest GM of all time. He's not the greatest GM. He's not... Did you see the photo with all his fucking rings on? Let's say he wasn't the coach. He was the GM of those teams. So, yeah, any other GM in that spot during that run would be considered greatest GM of all time. So, if it's the same motherfucker that's also coaching, both titles deserve to be, uh-huh. Corey is the ultimate troll, man. He is the ultimate troll in human form. Like, whatever he could do to mess with me, he did. A lot of ridiculous things over the years. You know, if I got mad at him or said something, uh, or like we're going to walk through and it'd be just one of those dull drum days and slap his ass really hard. And then he just fire the fucking, sorry, the, the fire the ball. <laughs> 13 days. Yeah. 13 is the yeah. best we've ever had. I'd like to apologize then to absolutely nobody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. We have to change the marquee. 13 is the biggest number that we've ever been able to put in. Gone. Is that a Fugay's number though? What? Didn't Jalen Ramsey swear last week? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Talk about only in the Thunderdome or is that a bullshit number you got up Yeah, it sounds like we got misleading go stats. Jamie. Oh my oh, God. Man. That cannot be who That's we're going to go to that department and let them know can't have that can't mistake. do it men oh, lie man. women lie but numbers don't well that one did i've been in aj's cool. bedroom not when him and laura Whoa. are role-playing i've seen swings i've seen uh <laughs> snm stuff i've yes. seen a, a kids love seen stuff. stuff yeah you got your own room like you're mr gray yeah, that's not a swing it's, axel it's weird aaron because a bunch of amazon packages showed up the day after the eye injury and a bunch of pirate <laughs> costumes so i think they took advantage of the situation yeah that wasn't a peg like tony that was a double header but also exactly. uh, to be fair <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, AJ on Friday when he was here, and this is true, you actually opened the box. Just a big box of sex gummies, sex things you can smoke. I've never seen AJ ever want something. First thing he did when he saw that box, like, can I have this? Can okay. I actually have this? And oh. left with it. Yeah, I did. Absolutely. I'm hey, not denying that. Hey, Aaron, do you, have you ever heard about this? No, I haven't. Does it have plants from the Amazon in it? 
Okay, so tell us more. You got the boner plant you found? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I can't really talk about that. Oh, you're being censored. Wow. I thought... I thought... I was told. Oh, I was told. <laughs> this press conference that you had just a couple weeks ago was like very eye-opening, I think, for me and a lot of people about the state of college football. Make no mistake that a, a good quarterback in the portal costs, you know, a million to a million five to two million dollars right now. So just on the same page, right? Let's make sure we all understand what's happening. <laughs> is there like just a slotted amount seemingly already made for different positions? And is there somebody that manages the amount of money that you... Mm -hmm. This is like professional ball all of a sudden. No, like NFLPA regulating it. They're dealing with third parties for each school. Each school has a different amount. There's no system to it. I had a, an NFL GM text me this week. How come you guys don't just make it binding? I said, we can't even have a conversation or else we get in trouble. So it's them dealing with a third party. They can tell a kid, hey, you're going to get a million dollars. And then you can transfer from Nebraska, go somewhere else. And then they say, hey, you know what? We don't have that money anymore. And oh, by the way, once you transfer, you're stuck at the second school. You actually get penalized for recruiting a kid out of high school. He can leave for more money somewhere else. But if he goes somewhere else, he's stuck there till he graduates so there is no system the issue is it would have to be collectively bargained is what everybody says so who becomes the players union who represents them because those people have to be good but what really legitimately sound person wants to take that job mm -hmm. instead of what they're currently doing to sign up and do that would be mm -hmm. an impossible task almost i don't think there has been one mafioso or racketeering arrest mm -hmm. since tommy devito has started doing his thing for the new york football giant tommy cutledge interesting name i guess saquon gave him the full Tommy Cutlets nickname is what we're saying. I thought so. that should have been some gabagool or prosciut on that hoodie there. His the agent said, don't worry. I'll come in and look the most Italian any human has ever looked in the history of humans in the United States of America. <laughs> on his Twitter account, I guess he has a certificate from the Italian club up in Boston. <laughs> That's, That's a right. big deal. <laughs> it's a three-inch Italian horde. Elephant tusk. Kiss me, Mr. DeVito. Mm. Tommy DeVito's dad, we believe, from our internet sleuthing, owns a plumbing company, and their marketing photo is actually two of their plumbers dressed up like Mario and Luigi. This is an Italian story that I could have never seen coming. And shout out to DeVito playing great football. It was a beautiful thing to watch over there in New Jersey, where I believe 70 million Italians live. Listen to Dayball talk afterwards. What was the conversation like uh, with Tommy, you know, on the last drive trying to keep his composure? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. He keeps his composure. There was really nothing. Here's a couple plays we like. Go out there and rip that son of a bitch. You can see he admires Tommy DeVito. You don't have to worry about his composure. No. This guy's okay. Have you seen him? Are you the cleanest dressed agent in the game? For sure, right? I mean, that's what my players tell me. My clients tell me that. Always, you know, dress, always dress like, like you will never be seen not incredibly fresh because i think i even saw you whenever the bon uh, boston italian consulate gave you a you had this sweet right. fit on oh, yeah. with this great hat always fresh always this is how sean stilato is yeah you know what my my grandmother uh she worked in filings in boston god rest her soul she immigrated from punta grande and uh she used to tell me stories of milan and she used to you know dress men and uh um, you know i'm the one i'm the baby of three boys and my mom, you know, I kind of, in, in essence, was a, the daughter my mother never had because she wanted me to look good. So we had the Miami Vice thing going as a kid, uh, Don Johnson, the white sport coats. And I, my wife thinks my first life, I was born in the 20s because I love the fedora. That's in honor of Sinatra, Rocky Balboa. Um, so I really, you know, that, 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 or a little Daniel LaRusso, you know, the yeah. karate oh, kid. Hell yeah. LaRusso. Yeah, LaRusso is another one. Yeah, absolutely. Yesterday, it was broke by the Greenlight Podcast with Chris Long's Twitter account that Tommy Curran said on NBC Sports Boston that basically the decision's already been made. Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots are going part ways mm -hmm. at the end of the season. That decision came after the loss to the Indianapolis Colts in beautiful Germany. How did he kind of re reiterate the message to you? He basically said that as of that time in Germany, Germany, the decision kind of had already been made based on who he is talking to in terms of his sources. He didn't say whether it was in the organization or it just sources that he has close to the team that would be in the know. Said now things could change. It's possible things could change. Uh, that's not his opinion. And it's not like necessarily a statement of fact either. I believe the term was used. Sources he had at the time in the know. What a sellout buffoon type of thing to say. If you're going to report on something, report it and say, my source says, insert whatever bullshit quote you want. But to dance around it like that, I have a problem with. I wouldn't believe Jonathan Kraft if he came out and said, yeah, we've made a decision. Uh -huh. It's going to come down to Bill and Bob sitting in a room and whatever thoughts were before that that are out the door. I'm trying to figure out who I love Indianapolis. I love the people of Indianapolis. I love playing in Lucas Oil Stadium. Who has ever in their lives called that place the Loud House? 
Everybody. It's a lot Sounds like everybody. Yeah, it's not I've, about never, the horsepower. I've, I've never heard it called the Loud House. I've never experienced the Loud House. It's a great place. I love playing there. This time of year is one of my favorite times of year when they play the fireplace logs during warm-ups. I love that every year. Yeah. Um, but I would not describe it as the Loud it's House. Intimidating. Disrespect. Do you know how new everything is in that building? We got traditions that started six games ago. They are already taking off. They rev the engines. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. called horsepower. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, we kicked the fire what? out. Yeah. You stopped it? We don't have time for the log cabin. I understand that people used to call it the Lucas Library, okay? That was a sentiment that was maybe shared amongst the locker room in confusion of why these humans are at a football game. You could be doing what you're doing right now at home. Yeah, JJ. A lot of people used to think that but now oh oh it's a tough barn it's a lot of us i'd rather get a find out on saturday jj yeah he ah, is ah. practice squad what the fuck Waved. what the hell, what the uh, hell? What you the gotta hell? be kidding. no i didn't do it 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 Jesus. i didn't do it run the tape run the tape i didn't do it did, I didn't you, do it. did you see yesterday too we, yeah we didn't even get i did today. You did. son of a bitch in a row. You, did, you had a simulated hard count well, not even one day in a row you got to K. I didn't, you got I don't all think the I did. way to K. Normally you could stop at like C. Still counts, but you did hold back. It's like a check swing Bingo. halfway over the home I got a friendly yeah. up down the first baseline. No, I got no, a friendly no, no, up. No, no. What's Guess the guy's name? Dick, Dick, Dick Wolf? Wolf? No, Wolf. Dick Wolf created Dick uh, Good. Law Dick Good. Order. If you're an umpire, what's your strike three call out? Let me I, see I it. I think I'm doing a full then full fade away. Boom. What was that movie? Old white guy. Really funny. Naked Gun? Naked Gun. I think OJ Simpson's in it. Yes, he is. Are in his biggest role. Being a husband. Peace. AJ's pretty Peace. quiet for the OJ talk. Was it AJ? Yeah. I didn't say the other. Ain't no a dummy over here. We're talking Ain't about no a dummy. movie right here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's move uh, along yeah, before. I mean, JJ just swore all over it's ESPN. It's disgusting. Giannis would know what the ball was from that evening, right? Yo, and balls actually do feel different. Okay, but when like when. <laughs> what you take? Basketball. So, uh, all the balls. Right. Basketball. Park, all the balls that you have felt <laughs> over this How entire many? thing. Wait, long time. Yeah, long time. Perk, wait, long time. A lot of balls. A lot of balls. <laughs> lot of balls. <laughs> Perk, a lot of balls in hand. So, so the basketball, the NBA basketball, like you could tell it's, it's a little heavier once you done played with it because of the sweat and it absorbed the sweat. It's easier to grip. Like you could tell ball the sweat. difference of it. Okay, got it. Especially with all those hands on those balls. Yeah, that's more right. balls. You know, because there's so many hands. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, whoa, 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 yeah my whoa, ball, whoa, a lot of balls. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me the ball. <laughs> Breaking news. Brandon Staley has been fired as the oh, yeah, Los Angeles good. Chargers head coach. There was a lot of historic records that were broken last night. The most amount of points in the Raiders franchise history. Obviously, one of the biggest blowouts in the first half a game has ever been seen in the NFL. Also fired from the Los Angeles Chargers. We no learned. General manager, friend of the program, oh, Tom nice. Telesco. Now all eyes are who's next. You can find some that's won before. Bill Belichick. Could you fathom? People are going to say that that's us saying that he's out. At, we don't know. Though. We have no idea. Bill and Bob Kraft are going to talk. They'll decide what happens. We have no idea what's going to take place up there. We are only telling you what everything is being reported and talked about. We are just as surprised as everybody else that Bill Belichick could potentially no longer be with the Patriots, but that's a reality allegedly mm -hmm. from all people mm -hmm. talking around the situation. You got Herbert, obviously, yeah. and with Belichick, you would think he'd be able to find an offensive coordinator? Probably Josh McDaniels, if we're being serious here. He loves Loves to bring back his former play caller. I love Mike Vrabel. Yeah. I forget oh, what he said. Best. And the other day in his press conference, he said something about dumb shit or that shit. I forget what it was. Just like super <laughs> relaxed and holding his thing. And I'm, I just can't get enough of Mike Vrabel. He's an Ohio fuck. Jeez. Oh, See you Monday. Oh, Golly. Oh, oh my dude, God. I, yeah. Hey, Pat, I got a question. Why do you got, why do you have sleeves on today? I, I feel mean, like it's like a formal attire. I would have, I would have dressed up more. Classic. You look good. Yeah, listen. I appreciate it. So do you, but I, I just it disarmed me. I was like, did I not get the memo? You know, black tie on the McAfee show today. Coach, what a lot of things just happened. Okay. We yeah. Just, seems we, like it. We just went off ESPN at 153. We are still live on ESPN Plus <laughs> and on YouTube. There's only one word that I'm not allowed to say that I agreed to not say on ESPN. And it, the word is, is fuck, coach. <laughs> and literally... Four seconds before we went off the air. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I said it. So the way we ended this week on ESPN is muted. Yeah. <laughs> what a joke. This is the worst show. We're so thankful you, you get fined. Huh? You, you get fined? 
We haven't seen a fine yet. We got a guy named Dick Good, uh, Richard Good. He has a team of uh, people that are censoring things. So I think they've caught every single one. Sent us right in the weekend with it. Yeah, but I don't know if we're getting fined. I, I, I haven't followed up enough to find that out. But this past weekend, I saw on the Internet, actually, one of the greatest dunks of all time. And maybe we could just utilize this device and then put it out there for the fuck, for the fucking chase down. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is one of the greatest dunks that you guys have never seen. Um, Foxy, can you run this, please? We need more of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to count <laughs> down this. five, four, three, two, one. Yep. You're going to shoot me. Hat's going to hit the ceiling. Yep. Hold my breath. Down, oh, ball, days. dunk, <laughs> land, and bow. Okay, here we go. First countdown. So nervous. Five, okay. four, I'm gonna do it. three, two, one. Go. Multiple cameras. All right. All right. Stopping. I'm going up. No, we're not. And... <laughs> oh, my God. What was that? What? Was that real? We're stopping. <laughs> no, we're not. No. No. <laughs> what happened no, there? All, I've never seen that. How have I not seen that? Yeah, uh, I know. It's, it's all time. <laughs> Holy all time. Is he okay? No. I hope so. He died right then. No. I mean, he died he a while ago. Really, no, I think he died, but later, not due to this. No, they just had to attach the hoop to his waist, so he's just walking <laughs> around with a basketball. Think about how confident he was <laughs> that that was Wait, what was going to happen? I don't, I didn't, he, I couldn't his follow his was instructions. was going to shoot up. Yep. And that he was going to come down. Hold and his gonna, breath. Oh, man. So we get that. <laughs> Shoot, he shouldn't be dunking it. That should be on the field somewhere. For a catch. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my goodness. There's no way. And it hurts so bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have that guy with the dogs catching him. Yes. Sure. That's the right play. That's the only way to bounce back from Jack Harlow's situation.